Hey guys, this is Gossip Girl PK and in today's video we are going to talk about some Pakistani alternatives or dupes for western makeup products. I'm super excited to be filming today's video. I asked you guys on Instagram as well as on my Snapchat which video should I film first, whether you wanted to see this one first or a makeup starter kit for Pakistani stay home moms. The majority of you wanted this one so it's coming first but stay tuned for the other one as well that's coming soon as well. Um, but anyways, before we get into these products, I have two small disclaimers to make. Firstly, even though I'm calling these Pakistani alternatives or Pakistani dupes, uh, I only know about a couple of these that they're actually Pakistani brands or originated in Pakistan or made in Pakistan. For a lot of these, I'm not quite sure if they're actually Pakistani brands. When I was putting together products for today's video, the only thing I kept in mind was that these products should be easily accessible across the board in Pakistan. So you can easily get your hands on them at different departmental stores, makeup supply stores, or bigger trustworthy websites like theras.pk or justforgirls.pk. Uh, but yeah, number two, I also wanted to say that I know dupes can mean different things to different people. For a lot of people in Pakistan, they still think that a dupe is the same thing as a counterfeit copied product. They're not. Essentially, a dupe is a short form for duplicate. So when people say that product A is a dupe for product B, what they're essentially saying is that this has the exact same color or the exact same formula or the exact same purpose as product B. That kind of puts a lot of pressure on the product, on me, on this video. So I would rather use the word alternative. I'll see how I want to title this video. But in any case, you get what I mean. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. But before we get started, just a polite reminder to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more similar content on this channel. Alright, let's see here. So I have this entire organizer filled with Pakistani products and their western counterparts. Uh, there's one that I do not have a western counterpart for, so let's start with that. Uh, by the way, a lot of these products that I'll be talking about in today's video, I've already mentioned them in either part 1 or part 2 of my top 5 makeup products to pick up from Pakistan. I have both of these videos linked below. I go more in depth on each of these products. Today I just want to talk about them being alternatives for some western products. But anyways, we'll start with this. Like I said, I do not have its western alternative uh, because I don't feel like I need it. This is the Garnier BB Cream. It's called Mi their Miracle Skin Perfector. I'm in the shade Medium. And it's an excellent BB Cream. It's widely available across Pakistan and it's pretty affordable. I remember picking this up for about 850 Pakistani rupees. It's been a while, so I don't know what price it retails for right now. but. That's how much I paid for it. In any case, I find this to be a great alternative to the IT Cosmetics BB Cream or essentially any Western or Chinese or Asian BB Creams. They're all great. No one does BB Creams better than China and Korea. And their formulas are excellent. But I feel like at the end of the day, a good BB Cream is one that looks good on your skin. And I feel like I've only found Garnier's BB Creams to have the kind of undertone that would suit Pakistani or Asian skin tones. All of those have a weird grey hue to them and I don't enjoy them. I'm comparing this to the IT Cosmetics one because that one I feel like is not super grey. So I've enjoyed wearing that one on my face as well. I've tried mini samples of that one. But I do feel like this one is so much cheaper and it still looks better on me than the IT Cosmetics one. So this one is a great alternative for the IT Cosmetics one. So much cheaper and I think you should definitely try this one instead of spending your money on that one. Okay, so next I guess I want to talk about this. This is by Luscious Cosmetics. Again, I've talked about it in a previous video. This is their Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Base or Eyeshadow Primer and I think this one is very, very, very similar to the P. Louise makeup base. This guy has been all the rage all over the Western beauty community ever since Nikki Tutorials raved about it in one of her videos. And I find both of these products extremely similar. Right from their packaging, which P. Louise one is definitely a little bigger because it has a little more product in it as well. But how often do you really go through an entire eyeshadow primer? So I mean, I don't mind that at all. Then the font on the top, this one says P. Louise, this one says Luscious, of course. They both look very, very similar to me. Then you can see the shade of your eyeshadow primer from a very tiny little heart on this um, T. 
tube uh, and you can see the shade through this circle or oval. I'm actually confused whether it's a circle or an oval. In any case, I find the packaging very, very similar. They're both squeezy tubes. They squeeze out the exact same amount of product. These are two different shades though. This one has a pinky undertone. This one has a yellow undertone. But I mean, at the end of the day, your eyeshadow primer is covered with eyeshadow. So again, it doesn't matter. Plus, the B. Louise one does come in several different shades. So I mean, if you were curious to find out which one of these shades is the luscious one and exact dupe for, then I mean, go ahead, find that out. But in any case, they have the exact same texture. They perform exactly the same way on the eyes. Both of these, they'll make your eyeshadows appear a little more vibrant, especially if you don't set these. If you let them stay a little tacky and then go in with your eyeshadows, I feel like they both add such a nice vibrance to your eyeshadows. They'll both make your eyeshadow look lost all day long. They'll stop your eyeshadows from creasing. And at the end of the day, I feel like this product is so close to the Louise one that I'm ready to call it an actual dupe. There, I said it. This one is an actual dupe for this one. So I mean, why go through the trouble of importing it? This is not available in Pakistan. Just go ahead, pick this up, support a Pakistani brand, which if I'm not wrong, I did see the luscious eyeshadow primer in a recent BoxyCharm. I'm no longer subscribed to BoxyCharm, but one of my clients is. And so I went to the BoxyCharm website a couple of days ago, and I think this one was in a recent box. And that's so cool, made me so proud. Anyways, now let's talk about another luscious cosmetics product because why not? This is their Lip Couture and do we have a shade name? Yes, we do. It's in the shade M03. It's a matte finish. And this is not your typical matte liquid lipstick in that it's not going to dry down completely matte. It's more like a liquefied lipstick in matte finish if that makes any sense so not so unlike your typical liquid lipstick it's not very drying on the lips it is not a hundred percent transfer or kiss proof so it will still have a matte finish but it's going to be a lot more comfortable to wear than your typical liquid lipstick that's the best way i can describe this product and the entire idea of this product reminds me very much of this guy this is by Marc jacobs so very bougie western product uh this is their lamarck liquefied lipstick and this is in the shade hot cocoa anyways i'm not really talking about the shade even though when i look at them side by side i do find them to be very very similar i will of course insert close-ups because you're not going to be able to see from that far away but what i'm talking about is actually the overall concept and the formula actually these are very very similar oh look at that we actually have an exact dupe here again you're not going to be able to see that from that far away but i'm going to insert swatches i didn't notice that these were actually color dupes as well anyways the mark jacobs liquefied lipsticks are again not your typical liquid lipsticks these will not dry 100 percent matte they will look matte on the lips so if you're a fan of a matte lip you'll enjoy these or rather these uh because they will give you that look without sucking the life out of your lips you know what i mean that liquid lipsticks often do so i do love this product very very much and i do love this product very very much as well this is obviously Marc jacobs western you'll have to import this so this is going to cost you like four times as much as picking this one up and again like i said support local business and go ahead and buy the lip couture lip products from luscious instead of buying the Marc jacobs one Okay, so now that they're drying down on my hands, I feel like the Luscious one is a little more pink and the Marc Jacobs one is a little more brown. It has a little more peach or brown to it, but they're very, very close shades. And I feel like on the lips, you won't really be able to tell the difference. And at the end of the day, why I wanted to include this product was basically for the formula. So it might not be a 100% color dupe. But these colors are very, very close and it's the formula that I actually think is very, very similar or the concept. So next I want to talk about another lip product. First, let me tell you about the Western product that I'm actually trying to find an alternative for. So this one is the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Peanut. I love this. It's my favorite shade from Morphe's liquid lipsticks that I have personally tried. Morphe's liquid lipsticks are not my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Uh, I mean, they're not the worst, but they're definitely not the best. They are a little more drying compared to like my favorites that are Ofra or Stila or Smashbox. Those are kind of like my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. So this is definitely a little more drying compared to them, but it's not bad at all. Uh, but I love this shade. This is in the shade Peanut. I think I said that already. And I love shades like these. Again, it's very similar to the Marc Jacobs and the Luscious one. Uh, 
I, what can I say? I love shades like these. I mean, I'm wearing one very similar right now as well. Anyways, this is a stage line liquid lipstick. This is called their X Fix Lips, and this is in the shade 05. And again, this is a very, very similar shade. I feel like it's a 100% shade match, and it's a very, very similar formula as well. Again, Similar to the Morphe ones, this is not my favorite liquid lipstick formula. They do look a little drying on the lips and they do have that weird crackly feeling after a few hours. So these are not my favorite liquid lipsticks, but I mean, again, if you had to go ahead and have these imported, if you wanted to try these, then I would say don't go through that trouble. Just go ahead and find the stage line one at one of your nearest departmental stores and I think they'll serve pretty much the same purpose. Uh, there won't be much of a price difference. I mean, after you get this imported into Pakistan, you'll pretty much pay the same price for this one as you do for this one. This is pretty expensive. As far as I can remember, this cost me around 2000 or maybe slightly more than that. So it was a pretty expensive liquid lipstick, which is kind of disappointing because another product I'll talk about today is so much cheaper and so much better. In any case, I just wanted to talk about this because this is such a spot on shade for the Morphe peanut and I love that shade. So I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so while we're still on this liquid lipstick kick, I just quickly want to talk about the last one that I have in my pile here. I just told you guys, Ofra makes my favorite liquid lipsticks. These two I only have here for demonstration. I have so many more in my makeup organization inside, but I love the Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I also find the price point to be amazing because these are, in my opinion, the best liquid lipsticks out there and they're so many, much more affordable, especially with the coupon codes compared to like other high-end liquid lipsticks that I really like. Um, but I have an alternative from Pakistan. Again, I've talked about it in one of my videos before as well. This is by Diana of London. This is their 2000 Kisses Wonderful Lipstick. And I find the formula on these to be exactly the same as those on the Ofra liquid lipsticks. So I mean, to find something that would be easily accessible to you, that's like one of the best formulas of liquid lipsticks in the market. And that's even cheaper than the Ofra ones, which I think these are a great price point as it is. But to find something that's even cheaper, I mean, come on, that's a great deal. So I definitely highly recommend for you guys to try these. I find the formulas to be exactly the same. I find that both of these have the exact same moussey consistency. They have the exact same amount of pigmentation in their lip products. They go on the lips exactly the same way, are very comfortable to wear on the lips. And my favorite thing about Ofra ones is how beautifully and gracefully they actually fade away. I'm actually wearing one of Ofra's liquid lipsticks today and I've had this on my lips for like seven hours at this point. And I feel like they, even when they're fading away, they're fading away extremely gracefully. You don't really get that crackly weird feeling on your lips where you feel like your lips are dying at the end of the day. They fade away extremely gracefully. And I find that to be very true for these as well. So highly, highly recommend these A++. So I mean, not appreciating something that you can literally find in your nearest departmental store that's like comparable to the best liquid lipsticks in the market and is even cheaper would actually be kind of like a crime in my opinion so you guys should go ahead and buy at least one of these and see for yourself these are kind of like incredible and the best liquid lipsticks you can ever find all right so this next product again i've briefly talked about it in one of my previous top five products to pick up from Pakistan video it's this palette from hourglass and this shade in specific this is the trio of their highlights and you guys know hourglass is like a very luxurious western brand so obviously this palette was very expensive to tell you the truth i actually bought this for this exact same shade stephanie nicole was raving about it and you guys probably already know uh, I pretty much buy everything that girl recommends. So anyways, I bought it for that and the moment I applied it on my face, I was like, wait a second, isn't this exactly the same shade and exactly the same look that I get with this 350 rupee single eyeshadow? This is a by Sweet Touch, I think. Yes, it's a Sweet Touch single eyeshadow in the shade H23 and it's the exact same thing. I love wearing this for my highlight. I've been using this as my highlight for ever now. And the moment I tried this on my face, I was like, that's the exact same color and the exact same finish and the exact same look as this guy. So, I mean, I don't regret buying this. This is a great product and I love those other two highlights as well. But still, 350 rupees versus like 70, 80 dollars. Definitely, it's, no, it's a no-brainer. Uh, love this shade again. It's H23 by Sweet Touch. 
their single eyeshadows are all great but this one as a highlight as a face highlight is incredible and i do highly recommend it all right so next i want to talk about a concealer i'll talk about the western one first this is by nars it's their soft matte cream concealer and i'm in the shade custard it's new to my collection and i love this i love putting it under my eyes even though when i bought it i didn't think i would enjoy it underneath my eyes i just bought it with the intention of spot concealing with this but I love this for the under eyes as well. I love to actually put it on my eyes as an eyeshadow primer too. So I've been overall really, really enjoying it. But to tell you the truth, it's actually very similar to the Backstage Concealer by Diana of London. And I feel like it's a little more hygienic, like the Diana of London is a little more hygienic because obviously it's a pot. You need to either dig in with your fingers or your sponge every time you want to use it. So that's not very hygienic, unless of course if you want to pick out a spatula every single time I mean I just use it on myself so I really don't care but obviously this is a little more hygienic and I feel like uh, it's going to give you the exact same results it is definitely a little more drying right off the back uh, compared to the NARS one but think about the price difference and then this is the kind of concealer that would actually become creamier as you try to blend it with your fingers. If you try to blend it with a brush or a sponge, this might not actually work that nicely for you, but it's actually the kind of consistency where the, the warmth of your skin is actually gonna make it melt away. So at the end of the day, when you actually use your fingers to blend it out, I feel like it performs very similar to the NARS one. The price difference is huge. Don't get me wrong, I love the NARS one as well. For a lot of these products, I love the Western alternatives as well. But at the end of the day, if you can get products that are more accessible to you, for me, I live in China. For me, Western products are more accessible. To tell you the truth, I don't want to sound like I'm on my high horse here. I haven't tried a new Pakistani product in ages um, because I haven't been to Pakistan in about 10 months at this point. And I just have an easier access to Western makeup products. But for those of you who do not want to spend that much money on makeup, especially as premium on top of the retail price, just so someone can arrange it for you from abroad, I feel like these are great alternatives that you can actually just go to your nearest supermarket and buy from there. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about one last lip product, and this again is actually by Luscious. Wow, that's the third product from Luscious today. It's actually one of the only brands that I've tried so many products from, and I'm so proud to actually see them make their mark in the international world with BoxyCharm. So it's just their traditional bullet lipstick and it's in the shade Just Peachy. It's a satin finish and like the name suggests, it's just a beautiful peachy nude. Goes on the lips really smoothly and lasts pretty long, especially considering it's just a traditional lipstick. And I think this is an exact, exact dupe. Like I'm ready to call it a dupe for the Colourpop lippy stick in the shade Parker. Now, even though this is a matte finish, but if you have tried Colourpop matte lipsticks, these original ones, you would know that they were not quite as matte. Uh, they came out later with a matte X formula, that was very very matte, but the original mattes had a little bit of sheen to it, just like this one in a satin finish. So I mean, everything about these two lipsticks is exactly the same. The shade is exactly the same, the finish is exactly the same, the way they look on the lips and how long they last on the lips. All of these things are so similar that I'm ready to actually call this a dupe for Colourpop Lippy Stick in Park. All right, so last but certainly not least, I have an eyeshadow recommendation and not just for any Western eyeshadow, for the best Western eyeshadow. This is the Wizard Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade Neutral Mattes. But anyways, I just wanted to overall recommend an alternative for the matte eyeshadows from Wizard, which in my opinion are the best. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know how obsessed I am with them. But I know that these are very, very expensive as it is. In the US, they're very expensive, but then to arrange a shipment of these to Pakistan or to pay someone a premium for them to arrange a shipment, it can run very, very expensive for someone living in Pakistan. So I wanted to offer an alternative. These are the Kryolan Single Eyeshadows. Obviously, I'm recommending the matte formulation. I don't think the shimmer eyeshadows from Kryolan are nearly as good, but the fact that I'm actually recommending these as an alternative to my favorite eyeshadows of all time must tell you how amazing these actually are. I think if these are like a 10, these are like a 9. They're very, very good, beautiful on the eyes, extremely soft, very buttery, and they blend themselves. Now, I do have to say that these are actually pretty expensive for single eyeshadows. You get 12 shades in a Viseart palette that costs about $80. These individual eyeshadows are like 1100, 1200 Pakistani rupees. So if you were to like buy 12 of these, 
I think that would be even more expensive than the Wizard palette. But I do think that you must buy like a few staple shades for the crease or for that shadowing on the eyes. So what I would actually recommend is for you to get like three of these. Get shades that would be a staple in your collection. Get shades of brown that would actually be used for every single eye look and you'll be able to get a quality very similar to the Wizard ones. They perform very similar as well. Uh, but you would have to pay the price for a Viziad eyeshadow palette. I mean, get a soft brown for your transition shade, a mid-tone brown to add some shadow and dimension, and then just a darker brown or a black for like the outer corner kind of work. I have two of these here. This one is in the shade H10, and it's just this beautiful peachy shade, and then there's another one that's like a deeper brown. It's called Red Brown, and this one's amazing as well. I love to put this like in my crease if I'm trying to deepen up my look absolutely love these eyeshadows and I do highly highly recommend it but anyways guys those are all of my Pakistani alternative recommendations now don't get me wrong I love all these western alternatives too so I'm not trying to say that these western alternatives are bad by any means but I do mean to say that these are just as good as each other and if you could why not buy something that's cheaper that's more accessible while you're also boosting your local economy you know what i mean but anyways guys that completes today's video today's comment question is what is the one pakistani makeup product that you have tried that performs just as well if not better than a western alternative let me know in the comment section down below because i'd love to know i'd love to try a lot of new exciting pakistani makeup products next time i go to pakistan but yeah that completes today's video thank you so much for hanging out with me i'll see you guys in my next one bye